Alrighty, I have some updates for you guys today on Canada's Wonderland construction and other weird activity. I'm going to try and discuss everything as quickly as possible and not repeat myself. Um, I'm trying to work on that, so we'll get started right away. Um, Canada's Wonderland is rapidly getting Winterfest ready. In fact, they are setting up Christmas lights everywhere in the park. The only part of the park that will not be open for Winterfest is from Canyon Trader all the way um, to the Coca-Cola Mister area. So just that one straight path will not be open um, for Winterfest. And I can't even guarantee that that won't be open for capacity reasons. I just don't see them setting up decorations there, but they are setting up decorations everywhere else. Another interesting um tidbit is everyone's always questioning why does Mountain Bay Cliffs always have water left in the basin? Well, it's very simple. It's such a deep pool without the water putting pressure against the outside of the walls, there's chance of it caving in on itself. So they actually leave the water in the basin there to help pressurize the outer walls to prevent it from caving in on itself. So that like I thought that was really cool and I a lot of people were asking me that and now that I got an actual official answer, I thought I'd share it. They also put up construction fencing around the attraction. I don't think that means anything. I think that's just to prevent people from falling into the water. Um, but I know that there were some issues with maybe people getting hurt jumping in um, and I'm kind of shocked that they don't have that little bubbler that dive was used when training in the Olympics and stuff like that. It would soften the cushion and it could really help, but it would also lead to people kind of sinking a little deeper when diving in. So maybe that's why. Um, that's all I have to say about Mountain Bay Cliffs. In terms of Kingswood, um, the cherry pickers are all being used currently for Winterfest setup. So they are setting up lights in all the trees and all of Action Zone and all that. Um, so they're not currently being used in Kingswood, but they will be getting used to remove speakers, electrical work, um, and lights from Kingswood. The Kingswood area is definitely getting cleaned up. Anyone who's watched my drone footage for the past year and a bit can definitely tell that they're cleaning up all around Kingswood, removing a lot of the junk behind Kingswood and the little road parking area and around the cell tower. Um, and yeah, definitely further proof that Kingswood is prepping for um, some future land development. So my understanding is Wonderland crew will go in and they'll remove the speakers, the lights, and all the electrical um, that they can access safely and all that. And then a company is going to come in and take down the tent. So a third party company will come in and remove the tent for Wonderland. Um, and then further land prep will happen outside of there. Uh, you can definitely see a lot of seats have been removed. Uh, they are starting to work in the upper right portion of the Kingswood Theater now. So a lot of the upper seats were left. Um, they are now starting to remove some of those upper seats. And uh, again, just a lot of prep work going on. Kingswood isn't coming down anytime soon soon. Uh, is my understanding, um, but it is being removed. I, I, I can stand behind my um, rumor and my claim that Kingswood is definitely being removed. Whether for, like, we don't know what for yet, so I can't say what for. Um, it literally could end up being an upgrade to Kingswood, which is least likely, I will say that, I'll stand by that, at least likely an upgrade to Kingswood, but it's most likely land prep for a future, future attraction. We're not talking 2022, 2023, we're talking 2023, maybe, very unlikely, 2024, 2025. Um, whenever Cedar Fair starts land prepping like this and they're not in a rush, um, it's usually for a future, future attraction. If any of you remember uh, Yukon Striker as an example, again, not saying it's going to be a roller coaster, but Yukon Striker land prep actually started showing signs about two and a half years in advance. So even if it's not a roller coaster and it's a midway to help increase park capacity, because right, na right now they're in the 70,000s, if um, COVID wasn't here, they could be looking to get capacity into the 80s, maybe low 90s by adding an entire midway section up there with a few attractions, restaurants, and stuff like that. Um, if they were to do that, I do definitely think that they would add a roller coaster up there because as we see with Lumberjack, when you build attractions offside, um, Wonderland without a huge draw or a coaster, they tend to be forgotten about. A lot of people don't walk over to Lumberjack for some reason. I find it a really good ride, but they don't walk over there. So I feel like a midway all the way back here, if it is that, um, is going to need a, a roller coaster of some sort to draw people over there. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Um, Winterfest is prepping, and uh, definitely the sod that you see being moved into the park has nothing to do with construction. That's just sod for landscaping. Anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's update. Hopefully I didn't repeat myself too much. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you have an amazing week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.